It is a common issue. People working in the medical field basically afraid to go home because they don't want to bring the coronavirus back to their own family. As WBZ's Katie Brace reports tonight, universities and hotels are offering a place to stay and some mental relief for those on the front lines. Tufts University is opening up its dorms to medical personnel and first responders. And they are not the only organization stepping up to help those on the front lines. Moving day to a hotel. It's a huge relief. Where to stay is now one less worry for Larissa Goncharuk. She works as a social worker at Hebrew Rehabilitation Center. On top of her job, she worried about potentially bringing COVID-19 home to her family and was weighing where she could temporarily live. Just to come here and um, knowing that I'm safe and my family safe. Hebrew Rehab Center runs facilities in Dedham and Roslindale. They care for more than 600 patients. Mary Moscato is the president. It is so critical for us to have our frontline staff healthy. To keep them physically and mentally healthy, the company is offering their employees free accommodations at this hotel. Well, I think it's something all colleges and universities can do. Tufts University offers another solution. This week, they open up 1,600 beds, mostly for medical personnel and first responders. Tony Monaco is the university president. When the hospitals have a surge and it's your city's first responders who don't want to go home, it's a local problem. It needs a local solution. Step up. He says already major hospitals have reached out. Which makes me more relaxed and concentrate on my work. As Larissa heads up for a night of sleep before heading back to Hebrew senior life, the tears in her eyes reveal just how much this gesture means. It's a huge relief. Tufts has divided its campus into sections, and some beds will be designated for patients recovering from COVID-19 in case they have someone at risk at home. The dorms will be deep cleaned before students return. In Medford, Katie Brace, WBZ News. Katie,